Like say Shalom, call Loyam La, Yahweh Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Oh, Sigma Dub Honest Delta GMS, Honest to the Akim, and peace and blessings to you, brothers and sisters that listen. The Oful Elect, call Loyam La, Yahweh Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And man, even a blind man can see this place is on a rapid decline. All right? Biden is under fire, man. Tasting that heat over this Afghanistan issue. All right. These nations are pretty much sizing up America. But yes, we know when you go into history of ISIS, ISIS, um, the new one is ISIS-K, this new group. But uh, we know that America is the one who started them. All right. To go up against the Syrians years ago underneath Obama. All right. To go at Assad in Syria. You see, but it's just like Bin Laden. You know, all these people they trained eventually turn on him, man. Okay, the allies, it tells you that in the book of Obadiah, man. And in fact, let me see if I read that. Obadiah chapter 1, verse 7. It says, verse 6, How were the things of Esau searched out? How is hidden things sought up? All the men of thy confederacy have brought thee even to the border. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee and prevailed against thee. So all your allies, man. People they made peace agreements, man. A lot of these groups that you end up funding, they end up turning on you. Okay, as we see in the soul situation with the Kabul. They that eat thy bread have laid a wound under thee, and there's no understanding in him. Because this is it. This is it for you. Okay. I even seen an article pop up today on um with Camilla Harris, man. Matter of fact, let me get that article right now. Here we go. It says, Lee Tor Terrell alarmed by Camelia Harris telling people to start buying Christmas presents. Oh, oh, oh. She, she was in Singapore and she gave a speech. And she pretty much said, now you better start buying your Christmas presents now. Why is she saying that, man? All right, like we told these people out here, these copper tops, that this place ain't never going back to normal. Okay, she already telling you buy your Christmas presents now. Why? Terrell says it sounds like the VP expects more economic lockdowns. It is going to be a, a more severe lockdown. Okay, zero movement. Fox News contributor Leah Terrell expressed concern of Fox and Friends Tuesday that Democrats are aiming to shut down the U.S. economy again after VP Camilla Harris advised shoppers to consider buying Christmas presents now due to global supply chain issues wow 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 man so we already know this might be that dark winter man or oh, shit shit is <laughs> yo man she, she said why because of the supply chain over there in china what right so if you're gonna have the supply chains it's gonna be messed up that means what you already seen this food shortages i just did a video on that man people are starting to recognize it in their supermarkets Okay, they're not as um the shelves are not as, as full as they used to be. A lot of things are out of stock, and it's only going to get worse come this winter time. And we already see so his vaccination passports and all these wicked ass unrighteous decrees, man, totally locking this place down. So this place is on what? It's on a rapid decline nationally and internationally, man. All right, that's what the Most High said. Let me get that the Book of Job. Chapter 14, verse 5. It says, seeing his days are determined. Let's read it again. It says, seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee, that has appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. And that goes for all nations. When you go in the book of Daniel, all you nations, you had your time and your day to rule. Right, and he goes into the major empires, the Assyrians, the Babylonians, the Persians. Then, when Esau came into, when he became a world power, during the, underneath uh, the rulership of Alexander the Greek. Then you had the Greco-Roman Empire. Okay, that great beast, man. Okay, and then that beast fell, but his scripture says his deadly wound was healed. He came back as NATO, and of course, you have the whore America, which is controlling the beast. But now you see this place is on what? Like the title said, it's on as a rapid decline. Okay? That's why the scripture says 
uh, I, what are the nations saying? Isaiah 14 and 9. And everybody criticized this dude Biden. Biden is a joke, man. This guy fell asleep at the Israeli conference. <laughs> oh, man, this guy is a clown, man. He has dementia. He don't know what he's saying up there. He's a, a pervert, okay, playing with little girls, kissing little kids on their mouth in front of their parents, feeling and touching them up, all right? This guy is a devil, man. He is. He's a predator, okay? Scripture says this, Isaiah chapter 14, verse 9. Okay, it's going into our Lucifer, a.k.a. Esau. Okay. He's that light bearer at this time, the king of Babylon. See, scripture says this. It says, Isaiah 14 and 4, let me jump on. That thou take up this proverb against the king of Babylon and say, how have the oppressor ceased? The golden city ceased. Verse 9. Hell from beneath thee is moved for thee to meet thee at thy coming. It stirred up the dead, which are the other nations, for thee. Matter of fact, let me prove that. Let me get Revelation 20 and 5 before I continue that. Prove that the dead, dead is the other nations. All right? Revelation 20 and 4 to 5, then I jump back. And I saw thrones, and they that sat upon them in judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai and for the word of the Most High, which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, and neither received his mark, becoming into that time, upon their foreheads or in their hands, and they live and reign with the Mashiach a thousand years of the first resurrection. Okay. All right. It says, But the rest of the dead, which are the other nations, that live not again. Until the thousand years are finished, this is the first resurrection. So the other nations are going to get their lands back after the thousand years when the kingdom is built up. So let me jump back to Isaiah uh, when we talk about the dead. All right. So let's go again. Isaiah chapter 14, verse 9. Hell from beneath thee. Hell from beneath is moved for thee to meet thee at thy coming. It stirred up the dead, the other nations, for thee. Even all the chief ones of the earth, it raise it up from their thrones, all the kings of the nations. This is happening right now. And we're going to get the scripture in Revelation 11, 14. And they, which is also Revelation 16 chapter as well. And all they speak and say unto thee is the point. Art thou also become weak as we? Art thou become like unto us? And that's what these nations are saying, man. America no longer looks like this unstoppable or this invincible nation that it was in times past especially underneath uh truman after they hit nagasaki and hiroshima with those nuclear artillery man those nuclear bombs the atom bombs man okay america was at its height at that time going into the 1950s you edomites were doing real good see but when the truth came on 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 the scene in the 1970s a little bit before that you had the vietnam war this place started going down man okay the drug use the whole feminist movement okay the music everything socially everything just started going down man okay so where we are today see where well, everything is just completely left hand and a witchcraft is just out in the open right they're just being exposed man but the nations are saying and like I said, even Biden looks weak on the international stage, man. He's a weak leader, man. Okay, and if he dies and Camilla Harris become president, you can just forget about it. This place is completely done, man. He looks like he's about to kick the bucket, man. All right? So this, he's under fire right now because of this whole Kabul situation. And, um, you know, him pulling out uh, um, uh, quickly as he did, man. People looked at it like it wasn't strategic because you put your troops in harm's way. And 13 of them, or what they reported, end up dying, man. Okay? But it's all judgment. Why? Let me get this Jeremiah chapter 18, verse 7. Wasn't going to do nothing long. I <laughs> just had to quickly report on this to the Pavi Haba Shemel Shah. This place is going down, man. All right? Jeremiah 18 and 7. And this is what every Israelite is supposed to be talking about, man. The downfall of our enemies. Okay, not how to build and live it up and telling your people to take this, uh, this, uh, Van uh Vanessa and his, uh, his booster. All right. That's, that's wicked, man. 
Scripture says this, Jeremiah, you jakes, man. You complacent. And the Most High going to destroy you for that, man. Because you're doing the work of the Heavenly Father deceitfully. Okay? Secretly, you rooting for Aisha, man. Okay? And the Scripture says, everyone that's joined unto them shall be thrust through. Okay? Jeremiah 18 and 7, it says, At what instant shall I speak concerning a nation and concerning a kingdom to pluck up, to pull down, and to destroy it? That's what the Most High do. He builds you up, and then, and eventually he pulls you down and he destroys you. Okay, he did it to all the nations before. Okay, and he saw you up next. Your downfall is gonna be, is gonna be the most epic. Okay, because he's gonna send his son back to bring the finishing blow. He's using the nations, because the Most High is you know the ultimate currency of war. Right, he's a master of war, man, master of combat, and he's moving the chess pieces around. Okay, and this is all bringing you guys to the to the valley of decision. You see, you're trying to withdraw and escape, but these attacks is is going reel you right back in. And let me pull out two more precepts and my close aside. I didn't want to do nothing long, man. Just have to quickly report on this to Pavi Abba Shah. It says in Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 6. This is advice for us, spiritually though. Flee out of the midst of Babylon, like it says, come out of her, my people, right? Come out of her ways, her philosophies, her customs, right? her ideologies, all right? That's how you depart spiritually. You start detaching more and more, more and more and more away from this place, man, okay? Flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in her iniquity, for this is the time of Yahweh Shemel Shah's vengeance. He will render unto her a recompense. Why? Because scripture says uh, Babylon was drunk with what? The blood of the saints. Okay? This place was built off of our blood, sweat, and tears, man. Starting with you Gadites, and then what? You, you Negro tribes, you built it up for free. Okay, so let me read on. It says, Babylon had been a golden cup in Yahweh Shemel Shah's hand that made all the earth drunken with her what? Her philosophy, a.k.a. her image. Okay, the nations have drunken of her wine, therefore the nations are mad. Okay, and that's what's going to lead to this third world's war. Okay, when, when, did I read that preset? We read that, then we jump back to Jeremiah. Revelation eleven fourteen. it said, the second woe was past, and behold, the third woe cometh quickly, man. It's coming quickly, okay? You know, this Afghanistan, you got China rushing the back. North Korea ain't going nowhere, all right? And we know eventually NATO is going to turn on the war, okay? So we're just going to sit back and watch prophecy play out. Because the scripture says, let me jump back to Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 51, I think verse 41. Bring on one more precept after this. Jeremiah 51, verse 41. It says, How was Shishak taken? How was the praise of the whole earth surprised? Shishak is Babylon. Okay. How was she taken? How was the praise of the whole earth surprised? How was Babylon become an astonishment among the nations? Scripture says they say you've become weak like one of us. Okay? And that's just, it's gonna be a surprise, man. When this place go down in flames, man. Okay, because nobody expected to see that. Because this place is the glory of all kingdoms. But as it says, Isaiah the 13th chapter. Um, um uh, uh, briefly proud briefly paraphrasing this in Babylon, the glory of the child these. Should be as when the Most High destroyed what? Sodom and Gomorrah with nuclear fire. All right, and I'm gonna read that precept to close it out the book of Baruch. Rapid decline, man. This place is forming fast. The scripture says it's Baruch chapter 4, verse 27. It says, Be of good comfort, O my children. Because we're still in this captivity. And cry unto the Most High. Sign and crying. Alright? Pray without ceasing. Okay? 
being fervent, being hot, being instant in and out of season. For ye shall be remembered of him that brought these things upon you. For as it was in your mind to go astray from the Most High, so being returned, seek him ten times more. You can never go far enough. Love the Heavenly Father with all your heart, all your mind, and all your soul, and all your strength, man. That's the first commandment. For he had brought these plagues upon you. So is the Most High who six Esau on us, the wicked. You shall bring you everlasting joy with your salvation. Take a good heart, O Jerusalem. For he that gave thee that name will comfort thee. Miserable are they that afflict thee and rejoice at thy fall. Miserable are the cities which are thy children serve. Miserable is she that received thy sons. For as she rejoiced at thy ruin and was glad of thy fall, so she shall be grieved for her own desolation. For I will take away the rejoicing of a great multitude, and her pride she shall be turned into mourning. Man. Okay, we already seen that playing out right now. All right? Um, the mirth of the land is pretty much gone. All right, even though it's up to some degree, it's just not the same. Verse 35 For fire shall come upon her from the everlasting, long to endure. And she shall be inhabited of devils for a great time. Like it says in Revelation 18 chapter. Okay, only those foul creatures are going to dwell here, man. Right? This place is going to be uninhabitable real soon when them nuclear missiles hit, man. See? Now we are on the stages of that happening, man. So call him La Yahaba Shemel Shah for the destruction of our enemies, man. All right? And it tells you why enemies are in Psalms 83rd chapter. <clears throat> and the chief nation are you Edomites, man. Okay, and this is the sense of your rulership is Babylon, and this place have to go down, man, in order for the kingdom to be set up. So that would say, call on him, la Yahweh, Shalom.